You who know so well the busy public and the lost and the love, teach us to raise our minds and hearts soft and the Trinity, and to fix the wrong verses like a pull and love of the intention. Since you train with us as in the path of eternal life, and not be a strange stranger of our favorite bosoms, your chariots will solution to shelter. During your mercy, if you have these ones, draw us to your brilliance. Shower us with your kindness. Lead us to apply the light of love to love. Lead us to the earth higher and higher into the splendid splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever draw our lives peace, nor may make us leave our thought of God. But let each minute take us further into the depths of his august mystery. And until they be in our souls, fully blossoms and the light of our divine being, will succeed all things in eternal time. Put a steadfast spirit within me. 
do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Jesus, Son of God, Savior, have mercy on me, a sinner. The friend of the bridegroom rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. O oh, oh, give the Lord, you sons of God, give the Lord glory and power, give the Lord the glory of his name, adore the Lord in his holy court. The Lord's voice resounding on the waters, the Lord on the immensity of waters, the voice of the Lord full of power, the voice of the Lord full of splendor, the Lord's voice shattering the cedars, the Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon, he makes Lebanon leap like a cat and Syrian like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire, the Lord's voice shaking the wilderness, the Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh, the Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The God of glory thunder. In his temple they all cry, Glory! The Lord sat enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits as King forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The friend of the bridegroom rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. Now that you say we see, your guilt remains. Sin speaks to the sinner in the depths of his heart. There is no fear of God before his eyes. He so flatters himself in his mind that he knows not of his guilt. In his mouth are mischief and deceit. All wisdom is God. He plots the defeat of goodness. As he lies on his bed, 
He has set his foot on evil ways. He clings to what is evil. Your love, Lord, reaches to heaven. Your truth to the skies. Your justice is like God's mountain. Your judgments like the deep. To both man and beast you give protection. O Lord, how precious is your love. My God, the sons of men, find refuge in the shelter of your wings. They feast on the riches of your house. They drink from the stream of your delight. In you is the source of life. And in your light we see light. Keep on loving those who know you, doing justice for upright hearts. Let the foot of the proud not crush me, nor the hand of the wicked cast me out. See how the evil doers fall. Flung down they shall never arise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Now that you say we see, your guilt remains. Who shall not glorify your name, O Lord? Strike up the instruments, a song to my God with timbrels, chant to the Lord with cymbals, sing to him a new song, exalt and acclaim his name. A new hymn I will sing to my God, O Lord, great are you and glorious. Wonderful in power and unsurpassable. Let your every creature serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You sent forth your spirit and they were created. No one can resist your word. The mountains to their bases and the seas are shaken. The rocks like wax melt before your glance. But to those who fear you, you are very merciful. Though the sweet odor of every sacrifice is a trifle, and the fat of all holocausts but little in your sight, one who fears the Lord is forever great. Woe to the nations that rise against my people. The Lord Almighty will require them. In the day of judgment, he will punish them. You will send fire and worms into their flesh, and they shall burn and suffer forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Shall I glorify your name, O Lord? No one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. Bring out your joy to the Lord, O you just. For praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the heart. With a ten-string lute, sing him a song. Oh, sing him a song that is new. Play loudly with all your skill. For the word of the Lord is faithful, 
and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who dwell in the world be fear him. He spoke and it came to be, he commanded it sprang into being. He frustrates the designs of the nations. He defeats the lands of the peoples. His own designs shall stand forever, the plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells, he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse. Despite its power, it cannot save. The Lord looks on those who revere Him, on those who hope in His love. To rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In Him do our hearts find joy, we trust in His holy name. May Your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in You. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is His Son. Savior, born of the house of 
his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. O exalta veritis, filium hominis, tum cognosceti, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go into peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And, and also, also with our brothers, brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church. We are the Father's light. By revealing to us the mystery of the word. Eternal, eternal fruit of his wisdom. Source of all light and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the word made flesh. Who at the last supper rests your head upon his heart. Drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and the Savior of all, O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his life. life and by the heart of the wounded heart of the Agathistums, under the life giving the guidance of the Spirit of Mary, in Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother.